My name is Staff Sergeant Mark Pulaski. I'm with the 133rd Security Forces Squadron out of St. Paul, Minnesota. We're here today to support the federal and local agencies with the 59th Presidential Inauguration. Super excited to be here. So logistically, this was quite the accomplishment for all of us in Minnesota and across the nation. I mean, we were able to take a large group of trained individuals, come out to D.C., and do a mission that none of us really know what to expect. Personally, I was notified Thursday and I was asked if I was able to provide support for this mission and I said absolutely. Friday we came in and we did some short notice training um, with all of the members of our wing. There's about 100 of us that deployed from the 133rd. So we were able to spin up quite, quite quickly, absolutely. So we have um, a magnitude of individuals out here from all sorts of AFSCs. Uh, all different backgrounds, all different types of training. You know, us as security forces, we're really the subject matter experts. So we've been well rehearsed in something like this, but there's a lot of airmen out there who have really never seen anything like this before. So it's really uh, quite cool to see everybody come together and do the exact same mission. So our mission for inauguration today is really to do anything that the our local and federal agencies ask us to do. So if that's to provide support at traffic control points or entry control points or just be ready to respond quickly to any um, negative crowd reaction to this this important event. Well this is an outstanding opportunity for not just myself but everyone here. When I got the call I was super excited. Without a doubt in my mind I knew that this was something I wanted to do. You know, last week I saw all the individuals that were coming out here from different states and I said to myself, man, I really wish that this was something I could do. So when I got that phone call, I was super excited. Our area of focus for this mission is to really be there for our federal and local agencies. So whatever they ask of us is what we're going to be able to because we have a little bit of expertise in this area. What I enjoy most about this mission is being able to come out here and really intermingle with the local federal agencies, my Army counterparts, other career fields within the Air Force, come together as a team to accomplish this really big mission of ours. I think all National Guard members can really take away that we are no longer the one weekend a month, weekend warrior, two weeks out of the summer force. We are ready to be called on at any time, always ready, always there. We're gonna be able to respond to any domestic operation or emergency situation. And I think that what we can take away from this, and especially our younger airmen and soldiers, is that we need to be prepared. And what I'd like them to know is that this is not going to be our first or last time being called out. So whatever we did wrong here, whatever they can make better, make it better so that the next time is, is even better. So just as much as we have to sacrifice, I think even more than that, our families and our employers really have to do a lot of sacrifice in as well. And they're a really big part of our mission because it's them who enables us to do our mission within not only our states, but also federally. I wanted to join the Minnesota National Guard because my, my father was a 20-year Army veteran, so I saw him growing up and I, I knew I wanted to be that and I wanted to be him, but I also, I really wanted to serve my nation and my state. It's been really cool to work with our local and federal law enforcement agencies. We can learn a lot from them. They are really the subject matter experts in what they do as well as we're the subject matter experts in what we can do. So when we come together as a team and put all that knowledge together, it just makes us really unique in what we can provide to the fight. My biggest takeaway from this historic event is that one day I'm going to be able to sit down and tell my kids about how unique of an experience this was and how I was able to answer my nation's call with the Minnesota National Guard.